Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, I just... My back is just hit my lower back. Oh. Yeah, uh, the yard work. Yard work. I told you this, this is it. This is this, this, uh, complacency on my part. Like, I'll oh, be I'm going to have so much weight. Breaks or not? Dark. Nos quedamos hablando solo. Scott, por favor, miren el priestess. Jaime. Oh, God, he's in town. Oh, he's not coming. He flew out yesterday. I think that's, they're going to handle it. Okay. Estamos esperando. We could be here a while then, huh? <laughs> well, good morning. <laughs> We want to welcome you to the Drainage District Board of Directors meeting for today, October 7, 2013. President our Commissioner Cuellar, Precinct 1, Palacios, Precinct 2, Palacios, Precinct 4, and myself. We have a quorum. Anything under open forum? Laura, do you, Rick, do you have an extra pin? Is that extra? No. <laughs> There's no one signed up for open. All right, then let's go to our consent agenda. Any concerns? No concerns, Judge. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item, Item one. Uh, request approval to purchase the following through the district's membership of by board contract 35810 Phil, Phil Pot Motors. Uh, there are five trucks, one 2014 Ford F-250 crew cab 4x4, two 2014 Ford F-250 regular cab 4x4, and two 2014 Ford F-250 regular cab. Um, Move for approval motion. for Second. A, 1, 2, and 3. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B is request approval to purchase backup software and technical support through the district's membership with State of Texas DIR agreement number DIR SDD 1951. Dell. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 I motion carries. Anything under executive? Uh, no, sir. Need a motion to adjourn? So move approval. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We've got about a 12 minute wait before we can start the next meeting.
13. Present are Commissioners Puea, Precinct 1, Palacios, Precinct 2, Palacios, Precinct 4, and myself. We have a quorum. Please join us in our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear Father in Heaven, thank you for this beautiful day. Give us patience and understanding when things do not go the way we want them to. Uh, we ask you to bless all our endeavors, everything that we're trying to do in this county. Bless our families, bless our country. Uh, please help us remember uh, that there are people in this world who have nothing to eat. And we have to remember that when we complain about things, we really have nothing to complain about, dear Lord. And we ask all of these things in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I understand there's no concerns in the consent agenda. I don't have any judgment unless somebody else has any. Uh, all right. Second. 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 Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Judge. Yes, ma'am. I had written a participation, and I think they handed it to you. And consent? Yes, it is. All right, but go ahead. Okay. I don't know why you've already done it. So uh, it's number 3D, uh, and this is about, uh, this is the Constable Precinct Number 1 building. And my question was, why do they need $22,000 for the purchase of furniture? Uh, what happened to the old furniture that they have? Just because you have a new building doesn't mean you need new furniture at the time. And uh, the countywide, usually if you find a room somewhere, we have furniture stuck in there that one department or another doesn't want right now because they got something new or whatever. So my question is, why are we paying $22,000 for new furniture? Uh, have they looked around to see if there's any that can be used or use what they have? Now you can answer. No, they can't. Yeah. They can't answer? It's on the agenda. Yeah. Well, that would require for our constable to be here. Constable Precinct 1. I'm sorry? Our constable, our constable Precinct 1 here. would have to answer that question. I don't see him in the audience at this point in time. Um, and we're in I, such dire straits. I mean, why, why pass something so quickly without finding out if we can't use something else? Well, it's on a consent agenda. We've already acted on it. We passed it, but uh, we'll ask him to come in and explain it to you next week if you'd like. Okay. And w I'm still trying to figure out what the paperwork is that you have us fill out beforehand when you already go ahead and do things before you acknowledge the question. Thank you. Judge. Yes, sir. And for the audience uh, uh, knowledge, the amplifiers aren't working, but the feed is working. So. The studio is recording and can hear what the court is saying. And All so right. I'll ask for the audience uh, if they can just be patient to see if we can get the amplifiers uh, to work. But uh, the feed is, is working. <coughs> and why don't you go ahead and, uh, and get the constable precinct one, ask him why he needs sure. new furniture for the I building will. and all I'll that. get that answer for you. All right, the next the item, open forum. Anybody sign up? Nobody signed up. Uh, item 6A. Good morning, Judge Commissioner Scarina Cardoso with the Public Affairs Office. I'd like to first of all thank you all very much for wearing pink this morning. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and in observance of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we're here today to approve a proclamation declaring October 2013 as Breast Cancer Awareness Month in Hidalgo County. And I would like to introduce some representatives from Doctors <laughs> Hospital at Renaissance who have joined us today. Ms. Annabel Arellano, Arellano Rodriguez, she's the Cancer Center Director. Gabby Gutierrez is a Cancer Center Foundation Liaison, and Mr. Mario Liscano is the Director of Corporate Affairs. And we have a proclamation to read, and then we'll ask the representatives to say a few words, if I may. Proclamation declaring October 2013 as Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Whereas the citizens of Hidalgo County value the benefits of good health as a key component of a long, productive, and fulfilling life, and proudly support observances that focus public attention on crucial health issues, such as Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And whereas one of the most urgent health concerns facing women and men, breast cancer is the most prevalent form of non-skin cancer affecting women today. 
It is estimated that more than 200,000 women will be diagnosed with breast cancer this year, and tens of thousands are expected to lose their lives to this disease. And whereas there are factors known to increase a woman's risk of developing breast cancer, nearly 80% of women diagnosed do not exhibit any of the determinant factors. Medical experts stress the importance of early screening and recommend that all women 40 years of age and above have a mammogram and clinical breast examination, as early detection of signs and symptoms of breast cancer can increase the survival rate by nearly 95%. And whereas continued progress in the battle against breast cancer depend, demands widespread public support for innovative programs, scientific research, and education, all educators, service providers, researchers, and advocacy groups are urged to work together to develop ways to educate more women about breast cancer and to ensure that all women in South Texas have access to appropriate breast cancer screening services. And whereas during this month-long observance, all Hidalgo County residents are encouraged to join in related activities and initiatives that help to raise support and awareness of this serious health concern, which has claimed too many lives over the years. Moreover, people everywhere are called upon to raise their awareness of breast cancer and contribute to the global fight against this devastating disease. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court hereby proclaims the month of October 2013 as Breast Cancer Awareness Month in Hidalgo County. Approved the seventh day of October 2013. So Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Thank you very much. And I'd like to ask Ms. Annabelle to come to the podium and say a few words. Good morning. I want to thank you very much for allowing us to be here today. I really want to thank the Hidalgo County Commissioners for helping us spread the news about the importance of breast cancer awareness. We want to motivate individuals in our community to go out and get mammograms, to do their monthly self-exams, and as well to tell their friends um, the importance of early detection and prevention. Doctors Hospital at Renaissance is offering $99 mammograms, so there is mammograms available to individuals who may have not had the funds to obtain the mammogram. Uh, we'll also be hosting a great fundraiser uh, for the Renaissance Cancer Foundation, which will be a 5K walk here in Edinburgh. Uh, so we're excited. It's this Saturday. It starts at 8 o'clock. It's at the courthouse. We hope that you'll join us in our efforts to promote breast cancer awareness. Once again, thank you and have a great day. Thank you. If we can have a quick picture with the group. And if we may, we have, um, we asked all county employees to wear pink as well. So if anyone from the audience would like to join us in the front for a picture so we can let the community know how Hidalgo County and employees are raising awareness of breast cancer. Ms. Chapa. Virginia. 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 <laughs> 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 We're going to have to do it from the end. Good morning. And they want to stand. You know, have to be. You want to move over here on this side? Scoot it. And we're going to have an angle. Everyone kind of turn this way. <laughs> it's on the tie. <laughs> Thank you. 
nice to see you. One more, one more. Good for you. Bien. Ito kayo. Victor is back home. Victor. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. Eddie. Thank you. Eddie. <laughs> This is one of those exams you need to put down for the wellness program. This is one of those exams for the wellness program. Yeah, but write it down. Item 7, Mr. Guerra. Thank you, Judge Commissioners. Um, there is no action on item 7A, 1 and 2 at this time, unless there's action to be taken right. further down the agenda. Item 7B, 1, 2, and 3. Um, Judge Commissioners, uh, I do have an update on the courthouse portable. The last item that we were looking at was the benches for the uh, seating at the portables. Um, all the benches, uh, it's my understanding that uh, all the benches have been completed and placed out there. Uh, so uh, that uh, will alleviate the, uh, the issue of uh, seating uh, at the courthouse uh, Judicial Annex. Seating outside the building. Yes, sir. Uh, and there are no emergency situations occurring since last agenda. And uh, as I stated last week with uh, uh, Mr. Palacios, we will have uh, monthly updates on the administration, uh, first and second floor renovation. All right, so, item eight, our constable. How does this? Uh, does this conflict with our hiring policy, 90-day freeze? Good morning, Judge. Commissioner. No, good morning. Uh, no, Armando Campos, Deputy Chief Constable for Marican 2, Precinct 2. Item 8A, uh, Alpha 140932. Discussion, consideration, and approval to appoint Mario Mireles as Deputy Constable by Constable Martin Cantu uh, in accordance with Texas Legal uh, Government Code Section 86.011. Move for approval. Second. Is there for, is there for a vacancy or? Is there for a vacancy? Yes, yep. you are correct. Hey, it's an existing vacancy. Board, I'll call you back. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Morning, Judge. Good morning. Commissioners. Good morning, sir. Richard Ozuna, Sheriff's Office, Hidalgo County, for uh, Sheriff Guadalupe Lupe Trevino. Under item 9A, it's approval of certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor's office. Uh, this is the donation of $16,400 we had from the Lower Rio Grande Valley Development Council about two weeks ago. So moved. Second. Mr. One and two. Uh, right. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. On item B, Ms. Marty's going to help out and assist on that. Uh, yes. This is approval to process the following Riley Auto Parts and AutoZone invoices as claims. Let me give you a little bit of history. First of all, uh, both of these vendors are either under TCPN or, T, uh, or TASB by board co-ops. As such, these items that you see are items that are uh, purchased under blanket purchase orders but are, call, are considered by those co-ops as third-party items. Under the provision of both contracts with the vendors with their co-ops, those third-party items are considered absorbed into the contract and thus compliance with 262 is met. However, because they are third-party items, you cannot go to their website and confirm the list price and thus do the math on the uh, discount, the general discount that's given. In many instances, though, either AutoZone or O'Reilly's will put the list price on their invoice, but because the invoice itself cannot be then audited against a web page list price, this is why you have a misclaims. But I do recommend Move for approval. approval. Second. And that's as to all uh, 20 invoices. Those in favor? All of them. Yes, sir. But Those both O'Reilly's and Aye. 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 Motion carries. 
Now, the other item C, this is safety vision. This is um, service on a proprietary uh, owner owned software, correct? It's a software video recorder for the exactly. police cars. Now, this is also authorized under purchase order 689-550. We've done some research. Uh, I know they're on because the original blanket purchase order was for $500. As you can tell, in the time that lapsed, it went over that. Uh, the purchase order was not increased. The very first item of 1100 then exceeded the 1000 which we have under purchasing policies and procedures to obtain quotes. However, we cannot get quotes as we are going to be uh, next week possibly declaring this a sole source because it is proprietary. They're the only ones who can serve us this, uh, this machine. So, so why is it I a claim, Marie? Pardon me? Why is it a claim? You cannot uh, issue I, I purchase. I understand that because it exceeded the blanket purchase order to begin with and the first invoice was then a thousand. Uh, your office deemed that it should have had quotes. However, we go back to the fact you can't get quotes because it's proprietary. So it actually is a proprietary uh, purchase order. But we're going to go ahead and declare it a sole source so we won't have this situation occur again. Either that or document on the purchase order of requisition. There is a PO, PO, but it was for 500. It was open for 500. No, no, what I'm saying is document in the requisition or purchase order the fact that it's a sole source. That way we don't, I mean, we cannot get it. Exactly, a but we're going to do it officially to declare it a sole okay. source. Okay? So I do recommend also approval. Move for approval. Okay. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. That's all we have. Thank you, Judge Commissioner. Thank you. Item 10, our health department. Morning, Judge. Uh, we have Karina is going to be assisting us here on item 10A. It's approval of proclamation proclaiming the week in October is Binational Health Week. Karina, you got the proclamation. Yes. I'll go ahead and read it. Um, this is an annual event, Board of Binational Health Week, and Eddie and his health department are participating um, in the Ida Ray Public Health Conference this week in observance of Board of Binational Health Week. That's going to be held on Wednesday at the UTPA. Um, CESS building and that's open to the public. We're promoting it and advertising it and it's an opportunity to address public health issues that affect both um, our area and our sisters to the south. And if I uh, may please read the proclamation. Proclamation declaring October 7th through 11th, 2013 as Border by National Health Week. Whereas Border by National Health Week held annually in October promotes sustainable partnerships to help address border health problems. Intended outcomes include increased community and interagency networking relationships, increased information sharing and educational opportunities, and increased awareness of binational health councils. And whereas public health issues in the South Texas and Mexican border do not have a sense of boundaries, health issues equally affect both sides of the border. And whereas the Hida Ray Binational Health Council was created to strengthen binational partnerships, tackle binational public health issues, and promote public health awareness, and whereas the Ida Ray Binational Health Council represents partnerships between Hidalgo County and Reynosa agencies and organizations and will be hosting activities simultaneously at the binational level to raise public awareness of diseases and public health issues currently being experienced in Hidalgo County and Reynosa. And whereas the goal of the Board of Binational Health Week Ida Ray activities is to enhance binational public health awareness by educating local graduate and college students through the third annual Hida Ray Public Health Conference on October 9, 2013 at the University of Texas Pan American <coughs> and to promote throughout the entire community the importance of living a healthy lifestyle by coordinating with local and binational health partners. Now therefore be it resolved that the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court does hereby proclaim October 7 through 11, 2013 as Border by National Health Week in Hidalgo County. Approved the seventh day of October 2013. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Judge, commissioners, I'd like to thank you and acknowledge the hard work from Karina and her division, along with Lauren Garcia from our department. Uh, our partnership with Mexico is a very strong one. We are always monitoring various health issues on both sides of the border, and we work very closely with their public health system to assure that uh, we have the security and the safety in our community. So thank you for that. If you have an opportunity to swing by, the event takes place Wednesday. It's pretty much an all-day event where the Hager plant used to be at. That's part of the UT campus now. They'll be having events there. So you're more than welcome to attend, sir. Thank you very much on that.
Thank so you. with your permission, I'd like to move on to item 10B, sir. Uh, there is no action on item 10B. Thank you. Item C, sir, Idaho County Funding District. Discussion National Clean but not limited to health care funding district. So this is just for your information. Uh, on October 22nd of this month, we will be bringing to Commissioner's Court a public hearing because it's already the, the federal government works on a year from October through September. And part of the CMS drawdowns for the federal funding and funding for the health funding district uh, or health care funding district which starts in October. So we're going to come forward and have a public hearing, set the, the rate for this coming year. So we'll get all that information to your office and to each of the commissioners as well because that, that's, the, that's the new year. It starts in October. <clears throat> so that's just for your information. Uh, item D, indigent health care program. There's no additional information there, sir, unless you have any questions. Thank you very much, Other gentlemen. Actions, C1 and D1. Thank you, sir. Item 11, adult probation. Just commissioners, adult probation uh, personnel is not here, so I'll present on their behalf. Uh, 11A is uh, for the DWI court approval of resolution establishing the Hidalgo County DWI court pursuant to Texas Government Code Chapter 121. What does that mean? I mean, all of the county courts at law are, are handle DWI cases. I, be I believe this is going to be a specialized court for DWI cases. What is the cost to the county? Benefit? It's going to be a grant and the amount of 142000 Any additional expenditures? Uh, only, no. Uh, it'll be just from, from this grant. Is there a and there'll be some uh, from the adult probation department, some personnel staff. What court is going to be designated the DWI court? I'll, I need to get that information, Judge. 139th? I believe it's the 139th. The what? The 139th, I believe. The DWI is a misdemeanor. It doesn't go to felony, to felony courts. Okay, Judge. Let me pull up the backup on that, Judge. Okay. Well, that's okay. I'll, I'll ask somebody else. Well, bring that information to court, so. Yes, I'll, I'll put a, a, a subsequent item for next week and have somebody from adult probation come and give the court a briefing on these two courts that, the, that they request an action on okay. today. Is it two courts or one? It's a, it's a DWI court and then the Veterans Treatment Court as well. There's two different grants that adult probation is applying for or they've already received an award for. So we need to accept that on behalf of the adult probation departments. So there's two different programs that are being established by the Adult Probation Department okay. and the courts. I think those programs have already been established. They're just getting the funding for this current year, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. And the monies are going to be used to pay uh, prosecutors or, or to pay what? I believe for prosecutors and for some staff time as well. Court staff? From the courts as well, I believe. So it's to supplement? Yes. Okay, right, so it's not a additional to staff. Then. No, not additional staff, just supplement staff that's currently uh, on board. Second. All right, those in favor say aye as to aye. one in uh, the DWI court and the Veterans Court. Would, uh, judge, aye. the way the agenda is posted, there's two uh, different the, resolutions. There's two different courts. You've got A is DWI court, and then underneath that is a separate item for Veterans Court. All right, then that. Move well, for the, approval on A, one, and two, DWI court. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And move for approval of 11A1 and 2. For the Veterans Court? For the Veterans Court. Second. Check. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. <coughs> Thank you, Judge Commissioners. I will have somebody from Adult Probation uh, here next week to give court a status on these two grants. All right, sir. Judge Commissioners, item 12A, B, and C, there is no action under IT. 12A, B, and C, no action. A and B? A, A, B, and C, Commissioner. Okay. There's no action. All right, Urban County. Good morning, Judge Commissioners. We only have one item on the agenda, and this is in relation to our GLOW contract, General Land Office. We are requesting consideration and approval to submit the amendment number four which will include the budget amendment to the General Land Office, uh, contract number 12406 000 
this of course will be so that we can allocate more money from our engineering line item to our construction line item for the South Fork drain. Move for approval. Second. Those, those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item two is consideration and, and approval to authorize the county judge to sign any and all documents associated with change orders or amendments pertaining to this contract. Move for, for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Good morning, Judge. Good morning, Commissioners. Uh, item 14A is approval of full contract for election services between Hidalgo County and the City of San Juan for their election to be held on November 5th, 2013. Move for approval. Check. Those in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Aye. Motion carries. Item 14B is no action as the City of Far canceled their election due to no opposition. Item C is to discuss, amend, and approve the early voting poll site changes as follows. A, extend voting hours through 7 p.m. on 1021 and 1022 at the STC Pecan Campus in McAllen. What days are those? Uh, they are, I don't have the calendar in front of me, but what, what's happened is they have um, realized that the majority of their students at the Pecan Campus, in fact, 80% attend night classes. And so they asked if we could extend just those two days. Uh, and I did talk to the Secretary of State's office, and this is uh, 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 able to be done. So at so these two campuses, trouble. we're going to Second. extend till 7. Will there be an additional cost? For the payroll, yes, and they will, of course, share the cost with us. JMB, CAMB, or? AMB. AMB, all right. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. And the same thing with item B, extend the voting hours through 7 p.m. on 1021 and 1022 at the STC yeah, Mid Valley Campus already. in West Laco. We covered it in the motion. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, item D. Approval of full contract for election services between Hidalgo County and the City of Palmview for their election to be held on November 5th, 2013. Move for approval. Second. We take action. We did take action. A, B, no. Uh -huh. C. No, there's no C. Either. No, it's just A and B. All right, those in the, do I have a second on the item 14D? Yes, D? second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And the last item is approval of full contract for election services between Hidalgo County and the Mercedes Independent School District for their election to be held on November 5th, 2013. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. What, what Thank about you. C? Are we taking no action? No, we approved it. C, on a on and uh, item. A and item B. C, yeah. A, and B. So we, we took action, B. Right? We, we took action. C, A, mm -hmm. and B. Yeah, we took them together. No action on B. No, 14B. She said no action. Right. Oh, on B, yeah. yeah. On B. No yes, action. sir. The, there's no election for FAR. Okay. Okay. Thank you. About this. Item 15, AgriLife. Judge, commissioners for AgriLife, there is a request for a reimbursement. Uh, it's for Christina Perez. Uh, she is the CEA 4-H Youth Development, uh, under the Youth Development. She attended a... Uh, planning workshop in Corpus uh, on September 17th and 18th. What's the amount so we can put it on the record? Um, that dollar amount wasn't included. 10426. 104.26. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Judge, item 16A is requesting approval of the following claims invoices with, or, with the authority of the county treasurer to issue payment, check, after review, audit, and process, processing procedures are completed by the county auditor. And it's the, the items are listed. Move for approval. Judge, that's the one that I was saying that I don't think I'm going to be able to pay those invoices as claims. Which However, one? I think Marty is uh, entertaining. There's three that you noted that you did not right. believe. The three are uh, the third and fourth items with dates of August 6th, August and 7th, and July 8th. And the last one. What uh, I have obtained, and after discussions with the uh, precinct, it appears that they have sent me uh, a memo that clearly indicates that there was an urgent and necessary need to acquire these services. I believe uh, at this point after reviewing it, I will be accepting that. We have also instructed them that the lag time to get the memos to me must be shortened. But in that, at this point, I'm going to accept those, those, invoice, those, 
that uh, explanation for the exception, and I will be issuing, uh, I'll be permitting the issuance of requisitions and purchase orders. Marty, but I thought you had procedures for it. We for do, that. and I have noted them with his staff, with commissioner staff, and that's under our purchasing policies and procedures, chapter nine. I have reviewed and refreshed that with them and a commitment that they will uh, follow that instruction. Yeah. Because uh, those are dated July and August and- no Yes, and date. September. However, after hearing the circumstances and it is put in writing, I will be accepting the requisition. So you recommend all of them being paid? Yes, sir. And move for approval. Well, I, second. I don't know. I think you're going to have to issue an appeal for those, right? Yes, sir. I'm going to permit the submission of requisitions. Right. And then right. a we process We have a motion and a second to approve those, those in favor. Say aye. 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 Motion carries. Budget office. Morning, Judge Commissioners. Uh, Sergio Cruz, Department of Budget Management. Item 17A1 is approval of 2013 appropriation of funds in the amount of $59,517.80 to fund court reporter and investigation expenditures. This is from the court reporter fund. Trouble. It's for court, re court reporter services. Those in favor say, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 17A2 uh, is a Approval of 2013 op appropriation of funds from Fund uh, 1435 in the amount of $50 for uh, fiscal agent fees. These are for the bond payments. Can I take them all at the same time or no? Mr. Crane, can I take uh, A, B, and C at the same time? Uh, you can. Move for approval on 2, A, B, and C. Sure. Okay. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Judge. Item 18, purchasing. Yes, under A1, A, B, and C, no action is required as this is redundant. It was already placed on the agenda. Uh, item 2, this is presentation of bids received for the purpose of award and approval of contracts to, to by commissioner's court to vendors submitting lowest pricing and meeting all specifications and requirements. And this is for Hidalgo County purchase of uniforms and accessories. This is Lone Star and Bob Barker. I recommend approval. So moved. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion aye. carries. Item three is acceptance and approval of an amendment number one to the AIA form A-101-2007 standard form of agreement between D. Wilson Construction Company for the remodel of existing old administration building to reflect the cost of now $3,375,220 as approved by Commissioner's Court against the claim that was submitted pursuant to the agreement. Move for approval. Second. Marty, this is the new number after the increase in the cost. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes, sir. That's, it's just the purposes of documenting it. Right. He's going to submit a, is a change order to be able to increase No, it? there won't be any change order. The document does not require, the claim does not require a change order. It is a claim of the increase in prices due to the, to the county's delay. But, and uh, if, you, if you read uh, Articles 14.1 and 15.1, it does not result in a change order. How much more did we? $61,220. Yeah, we voted last week. After a 15-month yeah. delay. But you're saying it's a claim instead? Yes, it's, it, it, if you look at the article, it says it would be a claim against, by the, by the contractor for delays not caused by him. So that increases, we accepted the claim, which increased the price now to $3,175,220. So yeah. if, if the delay were caused by the uh, but the vendor, then it'd be a change order? Is that what you're saying? Because sometimes the yeah. delays are caused by, by the uh, contractors. Correct. I didn't read the provision that, that, that if it's that, caused we by were, him. We were the reason. It was all no, 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 but my question is if it's the I'm other sure way around. I'm sure there's a provision for that, but I don't recall what the, what the, the, uh, what would be the action. I'm sure there is. Okay. All right. Do we have a motion to approve in a second? Yes, sir. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion aye. carries. Item B1, Precinct 1. This is approval of the following claims or invoices with the authority for to issue payment after the audit procedures. This is ASG security. This is for monitoring security systems, but <clears throat> we have worked extensively with this vendor. They will not uh, change or get us the uh, insurance that we need. So these are claims. We are now advising the departments to use another vendor that we can qualify as having all compliant issues. You recommend. So we, yes, are we subsidizing the vendor then? <coughs> this, that's what I call it. Mm. Yes. Oh, for a bill. You'll bring that up all the time. Yes, subsidizing. Sir. Check. 
Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Pursuant to contract with Ted's Infrastructure Group, Article 14 of contract, a request for approval by engineer to permit subcontracting of uh, services in connection with work authorization two, previously approved by uh, on August the 6th for the mile six west project. Move Who's the sub, Marty? Second. You know? I apologize. I don't have my oh. laptop with me. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay. Cologne, uh, Constable Precinct 1, acceptance and approval of request for payment application 9 in the amount of 11,149.76 and payment application 10 in the amount of 20,500.476 is submitted by Holchamont Limited, awarded vendor for the construction of the Constable Building and is certified by Project Architect Alcocer Garcia and Associates. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Request an approval of following claim from Welding House, fifty-five dollars and seventy-eight cents. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. There's one more for twenty-four dollars and thirty-eight cents that would be included. Uh, item C, Colonia Access Program, Precinct Three, acceptance and approval of the following road and drainage construction contract for real estate for Regal Estate sub subdivision between Dallas County and Texas Cordia Construction as submitted through the project engineer final construction contract as a, as awarded on July 30th in the amount of $167,630.15. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. And B is pursuant to Texas Local Government Code 262.31 and the inter interest of expediting a project's progress we're asking for authority of an approval for a commissioner or designee, which he has told me in the past is Ms. Mona Parras, to sign Morning. off on change orders that involve an increase or decrease of cost of less yeah. than $50,000, 50000 or less. Uh, the original contract cr price may not be decreased by more than 18% without the consent of the contractor. Is it Mona Parras, Marie? That's who he's told me before is going to be his designee. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. That's all I have. Sorry. Is that a normal way to put in a contract? Yes, yeah, we've done it in the past, and it is uh, it is permitted under 262.031, as opposed to coming to court for something that's less. Now, remember, at $167,630, that cannot be increased more approximately $42,000. This would be anything less than 50 or less, because that would be the cap anyway. And it's usually, it's not uh, a normal course of events, but it can happen during the construction. Okay. Uh, in that precinct one constable building, is somebody keeping a running check, like commission? I guess Oscar, who, who do you got there in charge of uh, Valde? I'm sorry? Mr. Garza. Who's in charge? Oh, you Mr. Garza from, uh, from the purchasing department. And I do have an, I do have a, well, there's a uh, construction manager in charge. I, I'm sorry? There's a construction manager yeah, in charge. Yeah, there's a construction manager. There is. Oh, 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 yes. The construction manager is uh, Mr. Um, yes, yes. Salinas. Yes, Mr. René Salinas from CIS. But from our end, Mr. Oscar Garza from Purchasing from Department, department from, the county. Uh, from the county, has uh, also keeps track of this project. As well, And I do have a response with respect to, uh, to uh, Fern's earlier uh, uh, question. Um, if, if, if the audience doesn't know, the constable, uh, for quite some time, has been sharing uh, or borrowing office space as well as the furniture that was there from JP Precinct 1 1, JP Precinct 1 2, as well as the county commissioner Precinct 1. So he, they don't the, have furniture. They don't have furniture. I don't furniture. think he has any furniture at all. The so. furniture that they're using is furniture that they, that, that well, belongs they're permitted to, to use. That the, that right. They're permitted to use. And so. It's, it's been like that from day one. While we're talking about that, please, uh, Bobby, uh, what is the deal on consent agenda? Is that already done by the time it gets here? I, I don't understand the question. At, if it's on consent agenda, you already have okayed it? No. no. At the beginning of the meeting when you say any problem? It's been proposed as an uncontested item, but uh, the auditor still has the right to see it, the, the lawyers and any commission. And, right, and yes. any commission. Yes, ma'am, and he does, and, and we will get concerns. And, and it happens that today we did not. Okay. Yes. 
All right. All right. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Marty, is that it? Yes, sir. That is all I have. Judge Commissioners, we do have executive session, and all right, for ju I just wanted to give the court a real quickly because I did. Uh, I just was just uh, told, uh, but with respect to um, item uh, 7B, one renovation of administration building, first and second floor, so that everyone knows that over the weekend there was a six-foot chain link fence that was uh, put around the administration building. Uh, so we do have now an official construction zone. Uh, and so with that being said, uh, personnel is now parking in the designated areas that we said that they would be parking. And so uh, things are moving along. Good, okay. Pursuing the 551071 and 072. So much. <coughs> Those in favor say aye. 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 <coughs> uh, motion carries. All right, we're back in open session. Uh, Mr. Guerra. Thank you, Judge. Uh, under open session, item 20, A, real estate, no action. 20B, pending potential, no action. 20C, claim of Cirilo uh, Licea. Judge Commissioners, I'd like settlement authority to make an offer in the amount of $125. Move for approval. Second. Sorry, I can't hear. $125. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Judge Commissioners. Anybody have any comments? If not, I'll, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So move. Approve. Check. Those next in week, favor, Tuesday. say aye. 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 Tuesday motion carries. Next Tuesday, or that? Yes, yes, Tuesday next week. <laughs> uh, sure. Yes.